So just that trolling with the, the trailer, taking out and rolling over anybody that gets in my way. All these all these local racers I think they've got the legs, blow them away with the bob trailer. This is the thing, see? Some of these racers, now I know people that race, they do time trials or whatever, and they're, um, they're cool people, man. They're good. But then you get the other set mentality that all because they race, they're just fucking assholes, basically. Oh, I race, yeah, you know. Unless you race, you're not, you know, you're not a real cyclist. Now, going from observation on a lot of um, stuff that comes out of these people's mouths, they're not really that serious. A lot of it's just, uh, it's just showing off, isn't it? Oh, I'm a racer. But what are these people actually doing? They're kind of like bragging about what they do. And then you'll see, uh, you'll see status updates on Facebook about what they're doing, the, the training and stuff. As far as I'm concerned, they're doing fuck all. And then next minute they're down the pub, or next minute, oh, I've had some biscuits, I shouldn't have done that. But these people are supposed to be seriously into their racing, as far as like, you know, in their local area are, yet, they, to be honest, they haven't really got a clue what they're doing. You've got to be, um, you've got to be chilled with it, man. I used to do BMX racing, used to be pretty into that, I used to enjoy that, but some of the attitudes flying around. One of the reasons I stopped doing it, and also I just couldn't get the time to train. But you know, you go out on your 1123s, blasting around the block. You know, not seeing any bad people. That's what you want to do. But don't go shooting your mouth off that you're a racer and oh yeah, I've done so many laps at so and so, I came third and second or whatever. Maybe you'd come fucking f first if you were a bit more serious. If you concentrated on your sleep, water, and sugar. Carbing up, man. Oh, I carved up on the morning. Carved up, carved up all the time. Have a practice, you know. See, see what you can do with that. Treat your training as you're as you're racing. You know, you can't expect to go out training on like a a hangover from the night before, then bitch about you know the next weekend that you came in fifth or whatever or fifteenth. It's not good enough, is it? So I don't even race. I don't even road race, but I've got the right mindset for it. You know, these people could drop a few pounds maybe coming in third or seconds or something you know easy, easier versus harder all these cycling magazines as well like cycling weekly one minute they're going on about oatmeal for breakfast and cutting out sugar and stuff and then they're going on about scrambled eggs and then they're going on about um, fats and stuff are they good are they bad and then they're going on about energy gels you know, that everyone's kind of all over the place. What you need to be looking at is sleep, water, sugar. That's the basics. That's the basics right there. You can't have one without the other. You can't expect to train, get good sleep, when you're putting shit in your mouth and get good results. Like, you can't expect to train, eat well, and have no sleep, and get good results. Might work a little bit, but it's, it's just not... You know, one one supports the other, it's as simple as that. Now, I'm not knocking energy gels or energy bars, I bought some myself the other day. Bought some of those taut ones, just and just kind of play about with those. One of them was a caffeine one, I took that yesterday actually, and I didn't really like the, the, the effects it gave me. But, uh, I tried. Most of the time, if I'm out riding properly, big rides, I'm running as natural as I can. So, all because you're a racer, you're not any better than anybody else. Because I'm doing what I'm doing, I'm not better than anyone else. The only reason I go on about what I'm doing is because I'm spreading a message and proving that you don't need all the other crap. That's how, that's how simple it is, that's how simple the message is. But you just wait. End of the year will come, like, you know, racing season will be over. Christmas has come, everyone will be eating the same crap again, and then they'll be trying to sort themselves out in January, February. When, when all the real, you know, all the serious cyclists are out putting in uh, a thousand plus miles. Versus you, trying to use your flabby, you know, trying to lose your flabby Christmas gut over, over all the festive, fest, you know, all the festivities. 
and it's going to put you back a two month. It's just going to fuck you up for the rest of the year, really. You've lost all that time, all that quality time, whether it's pissing down with rain or whatever. You could be inside on the turbo, but you're not really going forwards, you're going backwards. Now, I don't train, I just ride my bike. Now, if I did train, seriously, who knows, man? But I'm just having fun on my bike. I can put in big distance, and I don't know, my point to point around the block ain't too bad, but plenty of people are around here that would blow me away. Again, because they're racers, and that's, that's what they train for, like, you know? So, I'm not one of those that's like, oh yeah, I'm a good cyclist, I'll blow everyone, and everyone away and all that crap. Everyone trains for certain things. But it's, it's your approach to it, basically. Harder versus easier. <laughs>